Okay, so you ever just like assume two things are basically the same, mm -hmm. like free software and open source? Yeah. They both mean the software is free to use, right? Well, right. Well, buckle up because this article by Richard Stallman, the founder of the GNU project. Okay. Holy blew my mind. Really? Yeah, it's called Why Open Source Misses the Point of Free Software. Okay, what's the what's the distinction? Well, that's what I always thought. Like, what is the difference? Right. But he really digs into how different they are. Huh? It's not just about cost. It's about, like, a whole philosophy. Interesting. So what's fascinating here is how Stallman points out that philosophical gap between these terms. Right. They're used interchangeably, but they reflect vastly different values. And it's not just some abstract tech debate either. Like, this impacts our freedom as software users. Exactly. Free software, as Stallman defines it, is about an ethical imperative. Think free speech, not free beer. Okay. You have the freedom to run, study, change, and redistribute the software with or without changes. Which makes total sense when you think about it, right? Yes. Like, it's about autonomy and control over the technology we use every day. Precisely. Yeah. Open source, on the other hand, while often resulting in similar software, prioritizes practical advantages. Think transparency leading to better cut and increased efficiency. So one is about ethics and user freedoms, and the other is about practical benefits. Yes. But how did this divide even come about? Well, it's... Uh, like, were they always separate? Yeah. Or did one lead into the other? According to Stallman, the free software movement emerged in the 1980s. Okay. Driven by those ethical concerns. The term open source came about later, okay. partly to appeal to businesses who might be hesitant about the ethical implications of free software. That makes sense. If you're a business, you might be more interested in the bottom line right. than some philosophical debate about freedom. Yeah. But here's where it gets really interesting. Okay. Like, what are some real world scenarios where these differing values lead to different outcomes? Let's say there's a powerful new application, super efficient, but it's proprietary. Okay. An open source advocate focus on practicality, might jump right in because it's so useful. Makes sense. However, a free software advocate prioritizing user freedoms might be hesitant, maybe even looking for alternatives that, while less polished, respect their freedom to modify and share. So even if the end result is similar using the software, the underlying motivations and decision-making processes are totally different. Precisely. Wow. And this difference in values has some fascinating implications. Think about how open source is often applied too broadly, diluting its meaning. Oh, explain. What do you mean by that? He uses the example of people talking about, like, open source government. Right. Now, transparency in government is great. Sure. But it has nothing to do with software licenses or the freedoms we're discussing. So it's using open source as a metaphor, but it muddles the original meaning. Exactly. And oh, yeah. this leads to a truly wild paradox. Okay. Open source DRM. Wait, how can something be open source well, and SDRM have digital rights management? Right. Isn't DRM all about restrictions? Right. Stallman argues it's a total contradiction. Remember... DRM restricts what you can do with software, uh -huh. even if it prevents you from exercising basic freedoms. Like when you buy a game and can only play it on one platform, right? even though you paid for it. Exactly. It's like, come on. Open source DRM would mean making the code for that restrictive software public. So you could theoretically modify the code, maybe even remove the DRM. Right. Yeah. But it would likely be delivered in a way that prevents you from actually changing it. Right. You get the openness in theory, but not in practice. Right. It's like having the ingredients list for a cake, but not the actual cake. You're making me hungry. But I get your point. So can something be truly open? Right. If it's designed to limit freedom? Stallman would say absolutely not. Yeah. And this tension even extends to the language we use. Okay. Beyond free software and open source, we have FLOSS, Free Libre and open source software, yeah. and FOSS, free and open source software. So those are attempts at a neutral term. Exactly. Okay. But Stallman argues that advocating for something means taking a stand. Mm. He believes using free software, even if it gets mistaken for zero cost, prioritizes and promotes the value of freedom. It's like a mini rebellion against a system that wants to control how we use technology. So what you're saying is choosing our words carefully can actually make a difference. Right. And it makes you wonder which term resonates more with you and why. We'll be right back after a quick break. This is making me think about, like, all the software I use every day, you know? Yeah. Is it truly free? 
Or are we just so used to these like hidden restrictions that we don't even notice them anymore? It's a great question. We often blindly accept terms and conditions without realizing the implications, right? Absolutely. And this isn't just about us as individuals either. Think about the software used in schools, businesses, even governments. Wow, yeah. It's like Stallman says in the article, in a world of digital sounds, images, and words, free software becomes increasingly essential for freedom in general. Exactly. It's about making sure our digital tools don't control and restrict us. This deep dive has been, I don't know about you, but it's been eye-opening. Yeah, definitely. Before reading this article, I just never even considered there was like such a philosophical difference right. between free software and open source. It's subtle, especially when the practical outcomes are often similar. But understanding those values behind them can completely change your choices and actions. Totally. So where do we go from here? Like for someone listening thinking, this is super fascinating, but what can I actually do? Well, Stallman puts it best. Every time you say free software rather than open source, you help our cause. That's so simple, yet so powerful. I know. Right? Yeah. By using free software, we keep the focus on freedom and user autonomy. Exactly. It sparks conversations, raises awareness, and gets people thinking critically about the software they use and what it stands for. It's empowering to think that every choice we make, even the words we use, can be a small act of defiance. We can reclaim our freedom in this increasingly tech-dominated world. A quiet revolution, maybe, but a revolution nonetheless. And on that note, we'll leave you with this. What kind of digital world do we want? And what role will you play in shaping it?